The Jezreel Valley is a stretch of amazingly fertile land with cities and villages nestled up in the hills and spreading out on the plains of the valley. Here, biblical stories come to life. Gideon whittled down his army to 300 men to defeat the Midianites. Judges 7. The Philistines nailed King Saul's headless body to the city walls of Beit Shan. 1 Samuel 31. King Ahab established Baal worship as the state religion with its horrific child sacrifices. 1 Kings 16. Elijah confronted the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel that overlooks the valley. 1 Kings 18. At Shunam, Elisha raised a Shunammite woman's son from the dead. 2 Kings 4. Nearby in Naim, Jesus raised from the dead the only son of a widow. Luke 7. And this is the future staging area, according to the book of Revelation, for the armies which will fight in the battle of Armageddon. Revelation 16.16 16. The name Armageddon comes from the Hebrew Har Megiddo, meaning Mountain of Megiddo, a prominent archaeological site in the area. Driving from one end of the valley to the other takes about an hour, and along the way you pass by 120 communities, with a combined population of over 100,000 people, mainly Jewish, but also Muslim. Despite this substantial development, there is only one known congregation of believers in Jesus, with about 15 members. There are also a few known house fellowships. Running across the valley once again after a 65-year hiatus is a train line that connects Haifa in the west to Beit She'an in the east. Before the epic battle of Armageddon, we desire to see Jesus the Messiah worshipped and known by many more people in the Jezreel Valley. <laughs>